Hi folks. Uh, usually most of my videos are about Comegan Island or positive, uh, but this one is going to be negative. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the downsides of living on this island. And there's a bunch of them really. Uh, I, may not, I may not even mention all of them in this video, but what prompted me to make this video is uh, the ATM machine that we have here on Comegan Island. Uh, we have one, count them one, ATM machines on Comegan Island that will accept a foreign debit card. Okay? Uh, only one. And that's at the PNB over there in Mumbaiho. Now, uh, that ATM has been broken down now for at least two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, meaning that I can't get cash, and a lot of other people can't get cash either. Uh, people rely on that machine in order to get cash, because on this island, it's not like the USA or probably Europe too. Uh, you can't just go into a store and, <clears throat> and use your ATM machine and even get cash back like at a supermarket. You can't do that here. Uh, in some cases you can use the ATM to, uh, I mean, use, a, use an ATM machine at a, at a store and pay for the purchase, but you can't get cash back. Now, uh, when my wife was sick recently, I had to go to Mumbaiho to see the doctor and to get my wife's medications. I didn't have any cash because the ATM machine was broken down. So I was able to pay for pay for the pay for the med medications with, with, the, with their ATM machine in the store, but I couldn't get cash. So anyway, that, that ATM machine has been broken down now for two weeks, and I'm pretty much out of cash. So what I have to do tomorrow morning, I have to go to Cagayanda Oro so that I can get cash from Cagayanda Oro. Uh, that's, that's pretty bad, it really is. Uh, you know, that's, that's really just not acceptable. Uh, that's a <clears throat> three and a half hour journey, a minimum three and a, three and a half hour journey to go to Cagayanda Oro so that I can get cash. So that's, that's a, a serious problem, not being able to get cash on this island. Uh, there, if you look on maps, on maps online, there are other places that supposedly have ATM machines, but they don't. They do not. There's one ATM machine on this island that accepts foreign, foreign debit cards, and that's the PNB in Mumbaiho. So that's one thing. Now, uh, another serious problem is when the weather is bad, you can't come to or leave this island. Uh, you're stuck wherever you are. You're either stuck on <clears throat> on Bahal in some cases, or you're stuck on Mindanao in Baligawan. Uh, you're not going to be able to get back here. And if you're on this island, you won't be able to go anywhere. And that's that's a big that's a big downside too. Uh, so those are two of the of the big problems. You know, there there are a lot of annoyances. Uh, you know, since we have the the supermarket now at, at Gaisano Mall, uh, some of those annoyances are less. But you know, in the beginning, they had some products that you know I like to buy. Uh, they had a 
a soda, soda water in a can, which is what I like to drink, or you know, sparkling water or something. They had that for a while, and now they don't. And that's been a few weeks, and they haven't gotten any. And they had celery in the beginning, and now they don't. Uh, <clears throat> they did last week have uh, some beef. They had some beef shanks, some uh, stew beef, and they had hamburger also. And I made braised, braised beef shanks, and I also made a meatloaf in my in my toaster oven. But uh, that's another annoyance: is that you can't buy what you want sometimes. Uh, and you know the canned food they have at at that supermarket is geared towards Filipinos, so there's there's really very little there that a Westerner might want to buy. Uh, there are some things. They have canned corn and canned peas, uh, but they don't have a lot of the other stuff that, that I like. Uh, they just don't have it, and that's another annoyance. And while, while, we're on, while we're on the subject of that mall, there, the fourth floor on that mall, uh, I know two of the places that they're going to have on that mall. There's going to be a McDonald's there, and there's also going to be a Jollibee. And what that means is that there will not be a movie theater. So that's another thing. There's no, mo there's no movie theater on this island. Uh, and not that I go to the movies a lot, but, you know, sometimes it's a nice way to kill some time. Uh, or if there's a, a movie I just I desperately want to see, which is, doesn't happen often, but some movie I really want to see, I can't do it unless I go to Cagayan de Oro. So, you know, the, the, the good thing is on this island, people are friendly and it's kind of relaxed and it's laid back. And it's, it's old school Filipino, it's kind of the way uh, the Philippines used to be. It's not hectic and rushed, but there's downsides to living here, too. I thought of something else uh, that's a big annoyance to living on this island. Uh, and it's not that noise that you can hear, although that's an annoyance, too. Uh, that's the, the local, local, uh, the local barangay is, is practicing for practicing for um, the Lanzones Festival, which is about three weeks from now. Uh, but the annoyance I wanted to talk about is that there's, there's basically there's, there's very little privacy on this island. Uh, everybody knows everybody else, or practically knows everybody else. Uh, everybody knows everybody. All over this island, you know, they're all uh, related to one another in one way or another. They're all cousins, aunts, nieces, whatever. Uh, so they're all they're all related, and so everybody knows your business. If one person knows, they all know. Uh, there's no such thing as anonymity on this island. Uh, it's. It's very, your life is, is a public story and people talk over here. You know, there, there's a lot of, you know, gab, gab, gab on this island. So, and they usually don't even get the story right. You know, one person knows a little bit and then they, somebody else embellishes it until, until it's completely out of control. Uh, so, that's another thing. I could probably think of more things to uh, to talk about, but those those are the big ones for me.